Hello, Brick Builders! How you doing? Mr. Studs with our daily tip number four. Today we're going to be showing you how to use Technic Bricks to make your builds much more stable. This is going to rely on using the odd spacing in a Technic Brick where the pin holes are. So first, there's going to be two different methods I'm going to show you. There's more, way more than this, but these are the two simplest ones. So first you want to do is put your pins in the odd spaced holes. So we're going three apart here. And then we can take two other Technic bricks. We put two plates in between them and then you can see that they line up. Click those together and those plates are locked in. So you can do anything that's two plate thickness in between there and it, they, those plates won't budge. Now if you wanted to go to five holes What you do is you add five plates for thickness for every two holes you go. So five, you start at two. For five, you'd add five more plate thicknesses. So seven. For seven, you'd add five more for 12. So it just continues on in that pattern. So for five, what we're gonna do is we will take this plate off We'll put this brick on, add two more bricks, and, oh, sorry, and this will lock tight. Same deal, those bricks that are trapped in the middle will not budge. So we can use this principle to make upright supports. Take those off. We're going to pop these Technic bricks off. We'll grab these two here. We're going to go back into the five hole slots. Okay. We will take our two bricks with the plate, which is equal to seven. Pop that in. And that locks it in this way but it won't, won't help it in this direction. So there's an easy fix to that. We take two more pins, pop them in, take another Technic brick, and we know the spacing is gonna be five holes because it was up here. And now we have a perfectly tight support with these bricks acting as spacers. I used this method when I built the trebuchet in the workshops. I wanted to explain it a bit more so you can see how it works. If you watch the workshop from yesterday, you can see where I used it in that trebuchet build. Hopefully this helps you out. See you next time and happy building!